Hello, welcome back to Bill's Man Cave. I'm going to show you a simple way that uh, you could possibly come up with your own Hemi swap kit. So this is a 5.7 Gen 3 Hemi in a 1989 Dodge Dakota, and this is how I did it. So I noticed there was some similarities in the engine mounts. So I started with the 2003 5.7 Hemi mount and uh, I actually got it in there so it, you have to shave this pin down to get it to fit and you have to knock these ears with these extra bumpers out of the way but uh, this will fit you'll have to make some modifications to the uh, perch on the k-frame to get it to fit as well but I use this as a starting point I then lined up the transmission I'll show you the transmission mount afterwards. I want to just kind of start with the motor first. So I got the driver side engine mount bolted in. This is just your factory 3.9 engine mount. Then I made a plate with four holes that bolted onto the engine block bolted this to the engine using uh, just a little jack basically and, and pivoting off of this engine mount I was able to find the sweet spot of course with the transmission in the right position that I was able to find and locate these three bolt holes marked them out drilled them tested them with some washers as shims once I was happy with it I welded in these reinforcements, these are just uh, shaft rings I, I picked up at Princess Auto. And then that bolts to the block. And that's it. That's how you get the engine bolt in it. So, transmission. Being the 545 RFE, it is much deeper. The pan itself is significantly deeper. So, the transmission cross member was not going to clear. I don't have the skill to try and make one from scratch, so this is what I chose to do. I don't even know if it's going to work, but we're going to find out. So, I started by putting these pieces of angle iron where this would normally sit. Marked out the two holes, drilled them out, made sure that this was able to bolt back in. It's good. So... Once that's in, you take the transmission cross member and start with this hole here. Then I was able to mark out the next holes, drill those out, and then these, basically these will be the factory bolts and the factory locations. And then this is just an additional bolt, just to give this some strength. I thought about maybe trying to stick it all together, but uh, this just makes it a lot easier to install. So once that's in, the transmission has this plate bolted to it. So uh, yeah, it's in front. So this bolts to this plate that's on the 545 RFE, and then this bolts to the transmission cross member like this. By, by this mount here. This is just some hardware from Princess Auto again. These are trailer bump stops. So I just wanted to use components that could be found anywhere. So if there's any failures, I'm not dealing with some proprietary components. Uh, all of this stuff is either factory or easily uh, accessible. So this is just another one of these shaft uh, retainers and then a bronze bushing and then I just had to drill it out to the size of the bronze bushing and then pretty tight fits good just squish her in there there's your transmission mounts um, I still have to find something it's the only piece I'm missing but a ring like this cab mount here just sits on the bottom uh, what I learned with the mock-up 
was that um, I didn't like the pressure and it caused the mounts to crack around this rounded lip because it crushed. So this should give it the support it needs. So there you have it. That's something that you could do yourself. So now at this point, all I have to do is bolt it all back into the Dakota and I'll feature that. And uh, stay tuned. Should be running pretty soon.